What does it say about our country, right? Is that uh, a man who's not qualified and says bizarre, crazy things is better than a woman who's been qualified her whole life, you know? His four years in presidency, I mean, just based on the things that he said, walls put up, um, deporting people uh, just because they're a certain race. That's not even the, the insane things that he said that don't even follow laws that we follow as Americans. Being an immigrant myself and having decided to become a United States citizen and seeing that uh, he wants to separate people. So, you know, when you, when you see families separated, it hurts. It hurts to be far away from your family, but when, when you have your kids or your family members pulled away because they're not legal, it's sad. As a student, it, it does, I mean, it affects my college loans. As a Latina woman, it does affect, you know, the way I, I guess I'm viewed. I imagine a nation that accepts the reproduction of the notion of xenophobia, Islamophobia, uh, discrimination against the LGBTQ community. It's like we're, we're reverting back to the 50s and 60s. And I, I don't know if I could say that I'm proud to be an American anymore. He'll have the opportunity to appoint supreme justices and to, he has executive orders at his fingertips and like nucle nuclear weapons and it's just like that, that should not be in his hands. Donald Trump as a president, you know, is going to try to exert more power than what the president, with the, than what the presidential job actually allows for. Um, and so I feel like it's going to affect me as a citizen a lot more than a normal president would.